Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com and I'm here today to bring you a little range tip. We're going to be going over a drill. I really enjoy shooting and with that training and training to the point of becoming better as a shooter, addressing my inefficiencies. And so whenever it comes down to that though, usually two constraints. You have time and then you have money. Time, like how much time do you have to train? And then money, i.e. how much ammo can you afford? It gets expensive shooting. Pretty much every time you pull the trigger, like there goes a quarter. With that, how do we make the most out of that? So for example, there's certain drills you can do that if you have a lot more money than you do time, you can run like one to five drills where basically every time you run through the drill, there goes 15 rounds and it goes fast. So that eats up a lot of ammo pretty quick. Not to say you can't get valuable, like skill building out of that, but go through a lot of ammo. So with respect to this, this is if we have not very much ammo, but a lot more time, how do we get the most out of a fairly small amount of ammo? And I have no idea. I was thinking a minute ago, like, what is this drill even called? I have no idea. So for lack of a better term, we're gonna go ahead and call this the poor man drill. Quick note on targets before we get going. Right here, I just have the jerking the trigger 10 yards zero in target because I have them in my range bag. You can use anything, three by five card, whole sheet of paper, sheet of paper folded in half, whatever you want. I'm gonna be using basically this gridded out box in the middle of this target or a piece of paper. And it's a matter of your ability. This is your journey. And of course, we're trying to marry up that speed and accuracy. We don't want something so small to where it's gonna take us a really long time from shot to shot or to break our shot, but at the same time, want to also challenge ourselves so we can get the most out of those rounds and actually work on accuracy. Just walk through the drill, basically going through and explaining every step as I go. First thing we're going to do is we want to set this drill up. You can do it with rifle or pistol. I'm going to shoot it with my pistol. And so I'm going to want to make sure I have some lint on my bullets. I'm going to want to make sure I have full magazine. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and load my pistol. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a empty magazine and knowingly conduct attack reload with my empty magazine. I've now set up my pistol with one round and an empty magazine. At that point, go ahead and put your spare pistol magazine, the one that should be full minus one round, back in your magazine pouch. And from there we're set up and we're going to actually go through this drill now. So Got my target now in front of me. If you have a pro timer, use a pro timer. That way you can actually, if you actually record it, you can actually see progress as you go. If you don't have one, you can just keep thinking you got better. Either way. All right, let's get into it. My gun's all set up. I'm ready to run the drill. Since I have a pro timer, I'm going to start off with that. Again, I'm just going to talk you through this. So hit my pro timer, wait for the buzzer. Buzzer goes. Present, break my shot, go to slide lock, because I had an empty magazine. Conduct a reload, present again, break second shot, third sight pitcher, said I'm not gonna shoot. At that point, if part of your training, the way you train, is you search and assess, scan and assess, whatever the flavor of the day is for look around, Now's your turn to look around. I'm looking around, maybe check behind me. No one's back at the reloading bench trying to steal my snacks. Again, trying to get more value out of this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna safely retrieve my magazine. Keep your muzzle somewhere safe, whether that's downrange, whether it's straight up, muzzle above your head, wherever it may be. Go ahead and retrieve that magazine and now I'm going to get a rep in of attack reload. We will never attack reload outside of training a empty magazine into a weapon. You won't ever do it. If you're not advanced enough cognitively to where you can separate those two tasks, like, hey, right now I'm training versus, oh my God, this is the way it's always done. If you can't do it, then that's where you are on your journey. That's fine. 
don't do this part of the drill for those that can added benefit most value we can out of these two shots so now i'm going to go ahead and conduct tack reload putting my empty magazine back in my pistol now i'm going to stow my magazine with the remainder rounds i have back in my mag pouch at that point i'm going to go ahead and holster and i'm set back up for the drill and ready to go again if you were using a pro timer at this point you can go ahead and check your split see what your shot from the holster was as well as your shot or from your first shot to your second shot how quick that reload was and if you're really meticulous you can go ahead and write that down so you actually do have a baseline and eventually go back and see progress that's what it is though so now i'll go ahead and run it fast all right this time for reels So first shot, 1.68, second shot, 4.00. And what do we get for those two rounds? Kind of a fair amount. Get to work on our draw stroke, drawn out from the holster, a little speed and accuracy, breaking that first shot, uh, conductor reload, breaking our second shot, again, kind of some speed and accuracy. And then if we choose to, we get a look around and then after that, we also get a rep of working on our attack reload. Attack reloads, I hate doing them outside of like scenario-based training, like kill houses, something along those lines, just because if you're doing it on the square range, you're like, oh, look, I'm working on my attack reload. And you're like, oh, cool, like got a dump pouch full of half empty magazines. So this gives you a rep of working on that task, mapping it into your brain, but at the same time, it has a purpose of setting up your next drill so you're ready to shoot it again and you get all that for two rounds about 50 cents depending on what you're shooting if you try this let me know how it works for you and as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time